so when I wrote songs like Love Said Not So, mm. I wanted to write it in a way that caused people to think, you know? Um, and so doing that, it separated me and Cece from my brothers. And Cece and I wasn't a duet until we went down to PTL and joined the PTL singers. And Jim Baker came in the room and said, I heard a song on the radio from an officer and a gentleman, and I want, you know, change a couple of words, and I want you, BB, and Cece, y'all sing it together. That's how Jim we Baker. Did. Jim Baker. Wait, that's it was just we, that it was that instantaneous? That's how we became a duet. How does one start a gospel business where suddenly you're now making a living right. off it? Like, how does it start in your household? Well, well, my father, uh, you know, the our biggest fan and he felt as if you know what you guys are talented talented enough to record so he put his money into recording the first 45 for my brothers and okay. as that continued that door opened another door and that door and before you know it my brothers met Andre Crouch and the disciples who were our heroes and he signed them and the first oh, to light records or to light records. Yes. Where were they records. located? Where was light located? In Los Angeles. See, I thought oh, it was a Detroit okay. label. Okay. <laughs> and the first single that Ray released in 1980 was question is no, 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 no. And See, I came in backwards, but <laughs> so that, that first album did start the dynasty of the yeah. one. Okay, yes. we just we caught on to you and then went back. Oh no! So me and Cece, at the it was a the question is was out first, and then me mm. and Cece released that first single for PTL. Uh, Lord left us up where we belong, and so we were on different tracks, um, probably a year or so uh, in between the release of their song and the release of our song on PTL Records. I'm still in shock that Jim Baker's ear, ah. in my mind, his ear don't hear y'all, but he did. He did. I'm still, yeah, I'm I'm, 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 I'm in shock and of so, that. And so you have to understand, so me and Cece, we had, before we came to PTL, we had a group and it was mm -hmm. called The Winings Part Two. And in mm -hmm. that group was another brother, Daniel. At the time, Vicky was married to Marvin, and then another friend. And so after a couple of years, Cece and I, I remember us looking at each other saying, do you feel what I feel? And she was like, I think so. Um, so we had to go back home to Detroit and tell the rest of our group, this group no longer exists. Y'all got to go back and get How easy to, to do that? That was mm -hmm. so difficult. Did people walk away upset? They were. Oh uh, yes, my father was angry because you know my father was like, "We gotta stick together." We yeah. and I yeah. said, "Daddy, we are." But me and Cece. <laughs> <laughs> now, why did you choose Cece and not? Well, first of all, okay. Would are you and Cece respectively uh, Cece consecutive in age? Now. Cece's right. Cece's the first girl. I'm the baby. She's the eldest girl. You're the youngest boy. Okay. So, so how how do you guys even pair up? Like, like were you two just age. that close in age? We we no. It, it, I tell you. So Ronald, my brother who passed away 20 years ago now, mm -hmm. um, he put me, my brother Daniel, my brother Michael, together with Cece. We were the Christian version of Gladys Knight and the Pips. Okay. We were in elementary school, and they were in high school, Mumford High, which had a lot of great talent in that high school. And for their talent show, he made us go sing at that talent show. Okay. So, so we had that group, and then as time would have it, Michael would leave our group and go to their group, and they became the Winans. And so it was just, it kept evolving. Evolving, yeah. Still, it was like, Bill yeah. and Tammy that brought us together and caused us to be a duet. <laughs>